Hi there cherished ones, um, so today is Sunday, it's our day off, um, spent um, the first part of the day up until 12 o'clock in silence which was quite a useful um, experience, that sense of going inwards and really tuning in to that inner voice, that inner intention of peacefulness um, and we also <clears throat> broke down the Shiva Yantra and took it down to the Ganga and did a ritual getting back into the water um, and the Bhavati went in as well and released that energy and once we'd released uh, the two Yantras into the water we all dove in because it seemed as auspicious to get all that energy <clears throat> that had been created. Uh, I've just helped create the Vishnu Yantra so a pattern connected to Vishnu. Now in the Hindu tradition sounds like a conch shell. <laughs> In the Hindu tradition you've got the creator Brahma, you've got the destroyer Shiva and you've got um, Vishnu who is the preserver. So we're going to spend a couple of days um, doing mantra to the Vishnu Yantra. Um, so yeah, the element of preservation, what do we do to preserve ourselves, to preserve our sense of sanity, maybe to nourish ourselves to keep ourselves going in the most balanced, positive, harmonious way possible. Uh, although that's not always the case, is it? Sometimes we have things to preserve our energy or preserve our state of mind that just, just allows us to keep going, you know, just make it through, make it through the day. Um, so I guess reflections on what, what things, what healthy or beneficial things we can do to help preserve ourselves through this um, external personification of Vishnu um, yeah so day off been doing a bit of work did a bit of study worked on the cherish healing leaflet as well um, which was quite good and useful with help with um, <clears throat> one of my friends here who's also an English teacher um, a few conversations and also um, Lately I've been, I'm actually the oldest person on this retreat. I'm not, I mean the teachers are, are not, but in terms of participants. So I'm 30, we'll be 35 this year. And um, yeah, I've mentioned it a few times to people and I think, oh God, I guess it's a thing, isn't it? This idea of aging, what that means, what we achieved, what, where are we going? You know, it feels a bit, I don't know, 35, a bit landmarky in a way. Um, but I can hear myself being called, so um, that's all for now. Wishing you so much love.